Hello and welcome to Top10List.org where you get a world of knowledge in 10 simple points. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the top 10 advantages of a smart card. We're going to start at number 10 with It Prevents Fraud. This card can also be advantageous to the government to identify welfare and social programming fraud. Making sure the right person is receiving the care is important, especially when our tax money is involved. Number 9 is Identification. You can no longer become lost in identity. There is no such thing when you carry a smart card. It provides all complete identification for all industries who invest in this card. In fact, there is no need to have hundreds of cards, from social insurance cards to health cards to driver's licenses. Smart cards would have it all. In fact, police would have an easy way to identify someone who has a record of speeding and reckless driving. Number eight, limit on expenses. Now, our number six spot, which we haven't gotten to yet, will lead us to this reason. Many people do not know how to spend according to their budget. If you have a wife who is similar to Peggy Bundy, then you must consider getting a smart card. A smart card puts an automatic limit on all expenditures. Number seven is data integrity. Again, this goes back to safety, but at a different level. With smart cards, you cannot delete or remove the information, even accidentally. This is similar to a computer. No matter how many times you restore it, the things you do on it can be traced back to the beginning. Nothing is completely lost. Number six is flexibility. The amount of information stored on smart cards is infinite and flexible. As stated before, you can input anything from identification to credit cards. All of the data could also be easily transferable. Number five is e-commerce. Smart cards can easily afford consumers the ability to store information and cash for purchasing. The card may carry personal account and credit information that can be accessed in the click of a button. Additionally, the smart cards can manage and regulate expenses with automatic limits and reporting. Number four is loyalty. Another advantage of smart cards is stored value, particularly loyalty programs which offer incentives to recurrent customers. Stored value is always more expedient and safer than cash. The best part about all of this is most cards have a centralized system which tracks everything. If the card is lost, it will not be hard to replace. Number three is it's the best alternative. It is the most reliable in comparison to other machine-readable cards like magnetic strips and barcodes. For example, the white OHIP card in Ontario, Canada, with the magnetic strip, is still being used today. The white card does not work in most cases, requiring doctor's offices to manually input the information. In comparison to pen and paper, this is also the best alternative. What would happen if there was a fire in a doctor's building? What would happen with all the pertinent information? Number two is tamper-resistant security system. Vile Toponin argues that smart cards have reasonably secure cryptographic tokens. This is the whole point of its existence, proven robustness and correct functioning. The developers of the smart card already assume that attackers have various levels of expertise, resources, and motivation. They have looked at every angle to ensure that the card is effective. Number one is no bigger than a credit card. The size is quite standard and is defined by an 85.60 by 53.98 millimeters. This allows someone to travel with the card anywhere they go around the world. The card fits into a purse, wallet, and even pocket clips. Flexibility is the key in the name of the game here. Thank you for joining us on this smart edition of Top 10 List. If you enjoy, don't hesitate to click that subscribe button and join us again for another episode of Top 10 List.